Hello YouTube and welcome back to my Final Emblem 3 Houses on the channel guys. So, today we're playing as the Blue Lions and it's pretty fun. Let's get going. But, before I get going, I have to tell you that I recently I've been playing the my Black Eagle save uh, off screen and I actually beat the Evil at Wheels stuck on. Yeah, I didn't like doing it. It wasn't very satisfying because I'm just like, I don't really want to kill him. I don't really want to kill Quad. But I had to invite and I didn't really want to kill his right hand girl either, but I did anyways. It wasn't really that satisfying for me, but I did anyways. And I did anyway, and yeah. That was not really that satisfying, guys. Not really that satisfying. I'm sorry about that, guys. Was it really that satisfying? So the only thing, well, there really isn't nothing. There really is nothing to do, really. I, I guess I, I guess I can go cook something in the dining hall to get my students up to get my teammates up. But first, I better go see what today's special is. Uh, basically, it's game almost anyone likes today's special, so. Why not cook up some of that and let's see. I love to cook. What are we making today? That's so. I have a lot of experience in the kitchen. I can make just about anything. Oh, that's great to wow. that's great to hear. That is great to hear, dude. Now today's vessel actually didn't I asked I didn't like do much. But I wanna do, eat with those two. Go of night. Just, just kidding, I'm not where I go. Oh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that? I appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. Now apparently those are two those, those are her fa that's her favorite food. Ingrid! Hey, Ingrid! Yeah, Ron has... has Ingrid has deepened. And they're ready to speak to you, so they're not ready to speak to me yet. Okay. Wild game. Hello. Oh, yes, how are you? Okay. Good night, I love you. I didn't think anything was, was wrong with you. Huh? No, I'm fine. Is something wrong with you? Singing is okay. I'm sorry. Oh. It isn't if we did this eat, but I feel. Okay. So you don't know yet? Professor. Okay. 
Hey, Professor, did I ever tell you what happened with that thief? I went after him, and I did manage to catch up, but... Oh no, I captured him easily. I'm pretty quick on my feet, you know. But I decided not to make him pay for the book. <laughs> my pockets were pretty empty after that incident, if you want to know the truth. Well, what happened was, when I caught him, I asked him why he stole the book. He said he thought it would fetch a good price, and that he really needed the money. He had a sick kid and couldn't pay for medicine. Oh, maybe you're right. But a little money is nothing compared to that. I'd rather believe a lie than risk someone's life if I'm wrong. And to be completely honest, there was a time when I wasn't so different from him. It was a long time ago, and I've put all that behind me now. But yes, I was. My parents died of illness, so I had to provide for my little brother and sister. I did my best to earn money for them legitimately, but I wasn't able to bring home enough. So I turned to thieving. From people on the streets, from shops, even from soldiers. I knew it was wrong, but seeing my brother and sister's smiling faces made me too happy to stop. Okay, everyone on YouTube, my girlfriend's being a fucking ass, but, you know, whatever. I really regret that part of my life. I was stupid. But shortly after I turned nine, I crept into a local I'm noble's mansion. I'm sorry, but... to steal whatever I could get my hands on. I haven't been able to do that all day, all and I thought it... Labels. But what really caught my eye was a book with a fancy cover. That book was Lug and the Maiden of Wind. The night in the illustrations was so impressive, I just couldn't tear my eyes away. that was part of it, but certain books are also really valuable, you know. You probably see where this is going. Moments after I grabbed the book, I was caught in the act by the noble. And that noble was none other than Lenato. But Lenato was incredibly kind. Without asking any questions, he gave me the book. And money, too. When I told him I couldn't read, he invited me into his mansion, along with my brother and sister. He taught me how to read, personally. So, with the thief I caught in town, I was trying to do the same thing, to be like Lenato. I want to make up for the bad things I've done, that's why. I don't fucking care about the stupid things you're doing. I'm sorry I just ruined that conversation between me and him, but my girlfriend wanted to fucking talk about a conversation that would take 20-30 minutes to do. I'm like, I'm on YouTube, can you just take me 
Sussy. And you're like, and she's she like, well, I just want to talk. I'm like, well, you shut up. I'm like, we were talking all day. You could have talked about this earlier. And she's like, well, I just wanted to talk about talk to you. And I'm, I, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm failing. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, no, I'm failing because apparently I, I can't read you like a book. Well. Uh, all I'm gonna say guys right now is me and my girlfriend are on tight terms and I know I'll probably be, shouldn't be saying this on YouTube Let but we might break up soon. Yeah. I I've had enough of 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 her stupid butt stuff and I she doesn't play the same games as me. She just wants to talk and sit and cry on me, and I'm just like, I'm sick of you crying on me 24/7. And now, now, to, now I don't even feel like playing this game at all. So, no, thanks a lot for ruining it. Can I just? How do you finish the freaking day? Can you just finish the day? My God, I'm getting mad for no freaking reason. Apparently, Ingrid wants to talk to me now. Oh my gosh, stop! <sighs> Will father never learn? All of these useless letters are only creating more rubbish in the world. Professor? Oh, I didn't see you standing there. My apologies. Oh, uh, that paper. Well, I... Yes. Yes, it was. It was a letter from my father. I understand where you're coming from here, but I have no need of such things. It isn't like anything of importance was written on it. Curious? I suppose there's no harm in allowing you to read it. Go on then. My dearest daughter, Ingrid. Are you well? I trust that you are behaving yourself and refraining from causing trouble for others. Things on the home front are in order. A marriage proposal for you and the Viscount's son should be prepared soon. Although, I am quite certain there are many superior candidates at Garrig Mark Monastery. As you know, the very survival of our family is dependent upon whom you marry. You are the only one left in the family who can make things right. We are all counting on you. Do not lose sight of what truly matters. Yes. This was the last letter I received before leaving the Academy. I've told you that we've never been very well off financially. My noble family, House Galatea, branched off from House Daphnel in the Alliance. Shortly after, we were lucky enough to receive the support of the royal family, allowing us to attain nobility, to some extent. But, the territory we watch over is poor. It's harvest meager. And our noble blood, too, has grown thin. Neither my father nor my brothers bear a crest. I, however, do bear a crest. Because of this, my father sees me as our family's one hope for the future. A crest is highly prized among nobles. Were I to marry... Thank you, Professor. Despite my... I understand... Uh, it very... Can you just stop? I don't really care how much anymore. What's so important about crafts anyway? I don't even I don't un, even understand the importance of crafts. Can anyone else learn something good? Hey, you can learn that apparently. Now you're good enough to learn this now, so let's go. You try to make yourself look more more pure, but you're really not. You're really not making yourself look more pure. Fine. So he's a mage. So being a warlock shouldn't be that different, but being a the sniper would be different, so... If you just do a warlock... 
then. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so just do. Okay. Yeah, I can see where you guys are coming from. I, I can see. Okay, I'm still on the topic of my, of my girlfriend, but I can see where you, where people might might be coming from. I don't want people to be turned off by my channel because I fight I fight with my girlfriend because I I don't want them to be turned off because of that. But I'm just gonna say that my girlfriend had two days with me. Yesterday, yesterday, and morphed of today, and it's eight o'clock, and at eight, around eight o'clock, I begin recording, and then at like eight o five, eight, like eight o five, eight ten, whatever, she calls me, and it's like, I want to talk to you. Well, can you just leave me alone right, right now? I can talk to you afterwards, but she didn't want to talk afterwards. And like, well, if you don't answer, then I'm gonna be pissed at you. Because, because you don't have time to talk when, when, when I have time, but then you have, but then you must have, but then you are like, I must, you, you must Having received talk to me when I, when you don't have time. Has agreed to I don't like you. I don't like you. In order much to meet up with their reinforcements, the Kingdom Army sets out for LL, the Valley of Torment. What the heck, a dog and cat? You can make doggies and kitties? I want a dog and kitty. Valley isn't a place I'd care to return to. What the heck, I can make dogs and cats? I can't seem to adjust to this extreme heat. Historically, there have been battles whose outcomes were determined in part by the climate. You can't argue that this heat isn't a factor. <sighs> In conditions like these, Whoa, I who want knows what will become of our morale? Professor, be honest. How are you holding up? <laughs> Monks once used this area as an ascetic training ground because of the intense environment. They say Alel was born of the goddess's rage. <laughs> if you believe the legends, this valley is evidence of the goddess's judgment, passed on humanity for its corruption. The forest that once covered the surrounding area was burnt to ash by a pillar of light that descended from the heavens. That legend fueled belief in a place of torment between our world and the next, where one's sins are purified in the cleansing flames. Nonsense. Sins are not so easily washed away. Indeed. And there are no accounts of such a place in scripture. Yet those who cannot face their own sins have no choice but to cling to the idea. Uh, I just don't think I can take this heat anymore. I think I'm starting to see things. Near those mountains over there. Is it just me? Or is there a group of people gathered there? No. It would seem you are not hallucinating after all. Are those Rod Rieg soldiers? No, but their banner is that of... <gasps> no, it can't be. That is House Rose Banner. They curried favor with that witch and sold out Fargus. We messed up. There must have been a spy among us. Will you have us meet them in battle or wait for Rod Rieg to arrive? There is only one option. How kind of them to save us the trouble of killing them later. I will not repeat myself. That banner belongs to the Grey Lion. It's a waste of breath to exchange words with one such as him. His Highness is correct. He is not an opponent whom we can expect to negotiate with. Everyone! Prepare for the attack! Now this game would be impossible if we didn't have have regenerating people.
This game would be impossible. I'm sorry, but this game would be impossible. Without regenerating people. That's just... This game's fun, but it's almost impossible if you don't have regenerating people on. The Valley of Torment. Perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. <laughs> that man who raises the lion's flag, Lord Gwendo. He is an elder knight who serves House Row. Gwendo would, without thought, okay. fight any battle aboard it. There is no chance of negotiating with him. <laughs> Aelel is a deadly place. Flames burst from the ground with no warning. Same people usually avoid it. So the flames of torment burn your sins, your life, your everything. If you wish to spare yourself the goddess's wrath, tread lightly. Oh, I guess we're not going that way. I guess there is That's only one way to go. Oh, Ingrid! Ingrid, may I? My girl, come on, Ingrid. Oh, <laughs> snap. Another victory. Yeah. I must return. Ingrid, is that already gone? Come on, Ingrid. Be better than that. Ash is almost gone too, my goodness. Ah, they've yeah. got me gone. You all wolf yes. Ah. I'll comply. <laughs> Kill them already. What's the plan? <laughs> All for our future. So, where's Quad in all of this? Like, seriously, we found Quad in the other game. In the... Guide me well. In the... B -b Black... Lions one, but where's Quad in the... In the blue... No, the Black Eagles one, yeah. I'm... We found Quad in the Black you Eagles, but where, where's Quad in the... Blue Lion? Pass. Where's he in all of this? I don't know. That's why I kind of want to know what will. That's why I kind of want to buy the blue, the gold deal pass because I'm just like, where is Quad? Like I want to know what Quad is. Like is Quad just sitting back in, in the blue line pass or what's he doing? Or what the heck is he doing? Your weakness. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want to do that. No, I don't know what. I think, I think that might be okay. I don't want to hurt them though. We best tread lightly, so don't tread too. Not lightly, I guess. 
So just don't try not to that way. My goodness. Level 35. Goody goody. Level 24. Flying. Level 24. Awesome. We're gonna get away to survive by by having someone else help her. Yes. Is that blind creator sword? What? Was this sub line creator sword? Be careful. Um. Bonus I need again. Yeah, that was twenty nine. I think he needs to sit right there. Like honestly, I don't, um, I feel like he's just gonna. I don't know what to do. I feel like he's gonna die for it. All talk and no action. I think. I feel like that's a really bad action though. I don't know what to do. I feel like any action I do with him is really bad right now. Go back? I don't know. Did I go close with these people? I have no clue. I feel like anything I do will be just horrible. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh he's not he's not living. He's not living to the end of the day. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So we definitely We definitely need to get some of those people out of the way. We definitely need to get some of those people out of the way, so... I feel like this would... I feel like they'd, they'd be fine on here. I feel like they're gonna be fine if they're on here, so... Yeah, she's okay. So Cornelia has planted spies even inside Garrett Mark. The shield of Fargus has appeared. We can expect more out of him than the young ones. So basically what they're telling us is I don't know. It won't be in vain. I don't know what they're telling us, Lloyd, but you know. I don't know. What they're telling us. But he can't move! I seriously, he can't move. I have faith. Destiny unfurls. Seriously, I'm like, he can't even move. Iron, stupid, fucking butt broke. Okay. Um. I don't know where to go, but we're going somewhere. Let's go. Where's all the ganged up right there? <laughs> Does a wealth like you really expect to kill me? Okay, so he's just coming to life. us. A knight by the hand of Count Rowe. Do your worst. I wanna see what's gonna happen. He wants to get me. He wants to get me! The 
eventually I too will fall. Good guy is he a he's a Oh Watch League is a good guy. He's He's on our side. He's on he's I'm stupid. He's the one that we're getting the weapons from. The or the a, extra the extra people from. I'm stupid. The man praised as a lion is degraded to a mere traitor's underling. A traitor's underling? That's upsetting your highness. I am and always have been a knight of House Rome. How dare you? You are nothing but a lowly beast scavenging for scraps. You have forgotten the dignity of knighthood. I may be lowly, but this beast is devoted to his master. And I had better kill the pet and deliver its head to that master. <laughs> It is the way of knights to follow their master's orders without argument. Lord Gwendal was a good man. Now he is just a corpse, nothing more. Let's go. Rodriguez is waiting for us. I'm stupid. I don't listen at all to anything. Rodriguez is a good guy. Oh, who's bad and who's good? Because Dimitri is like Thank you so psycho, much. psycho, 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 psycho. It's been too long, Your Highness. But try to temper your joy, will you? This is a war, after all. To say such a thing at a time like this, you have not changed one bit. Don't let looks deceive you. I've had a rough go, but ever since I crossed blades with those traitors in Ferdiad. When I heard you'd been executed, I rushed there as fast as I could, blind with fury. When I got there, I was fed some garbage about not being able to see your body. The next thing I knew, I was gripping my blade and... <sighs> Gilbert, you have done well to locate His Highness. I am truly grateful. And you, I have you to thank as well. Well, we are in your debt. I will repay you for this someday, I swear it. And you, Felix. You have also done well to bring His Highness here. <laughs> tell us all you know, Rodrigue. I'm afraid there's not much to tell. You are aware that the western region of the kingdom was taken by the Empire, correct? Yes, so I have heard. They are now calling it the Fargus Dukedom, or some nonsense. If you know that much, then the rest won't take long. Enemy or not, it's undeniable that Cornelia's plan was nothing short of genius. After seizing power, she invited the Imperial Army to Ferdiat. There, she reorganized her troops and then sent soldiers to hunt me down. Because of that, we were forced to act defensively, and now we're being forced into a difficult battle. She's been controlling the situation all along. So that's been the witch's plan from the start. I should have killed her ages ago. Your Highness, Ferdiad is in a terrible state right now. The tyranny is unbearable, and so the rebellions are endless. Refugees starve to death in the streets. If I may speak freely, Your Highness. 
We should change course for Ferdiat and take down those traitors before we embark to Enbar. There's no time for that. We must annihilate Enbar before all else. Think this through. I understand wanting to destroy the Empire and the Emperor. I want that so much it hurts. But which is more important, the dead or the living? Silence! Oh, shit. No, Dimitri. You will hear me out. Are you asking me? Asking the dead to forgive that woman? No, I would not ask that of you. What I am asking is that you allow us to prioritize the Kingdom Capital over the Imperial Capital for now. As Lambert's close and trusted friend, I am confident that he would have advised the same. Do not dare to put words in the mouths of the dead. They are your words alone, even if you borrow their lips. Until I offer up that woman's head, father will remain a slave to his lingering regret and hatred. Even now, he suffers. It is ceaseless. As we waste time with idle chatter, his suffering continues. <sighs> you are my king. Our king. Wherever you lead, we will follow. But your highness, there are those who take up their sword in the name of revenge, and yet along the way, lose the strength and composure to follow through. You would do well to bear that in mind. Ah, I nearly forgot. Take this, your highness. The time has come for it to be wielded by its true master. Eritfar? The hero's relic once wielded by my father. The very same. I managed to steal it back from one of Cornelia's underlings in Ferdiat. Understated as ever, father. It must have been a true struggle to get it back. I... I am grateful, my friend. Gilbert, Professor, may I request something of you? I wish to fight at your side. Senile already, old man? Who will protect our territory? I expected it would come to this, so I left those matters to my younger brother. He has my complete faith. I must keep my promise to our fallen king. To my dear friend. What promise? A very old one. I swore it nearly ten years ago. Now then, your highness. Let's destroy the Empire together. My men and I will spare no effort. I pray that you are right. And that this will save the kingdom. Wait, let's take the wolf to the land out of the way. Put, put the whatever the Enbar. Our orders are to capture Enbar by striking the enemy. Oh, it's the Enbar. Enbar is the place. How familiar uh, are you with I'm the geography stupid. of Fundland? Then you must be aware that the kingdom and the empire are separated by the impassable Ogma Mountains, right? Legend has it that Saint Seros once crossed over those mountains to fight against the fell king Nemesis. But don't fool yourself. Leading a large army over such steep mountains would be near impossible. In order to infiltrate the Empire, we have no choice but to go around the mountains, either to the east or to the west. Yes, I agree. The Alliance is currently split in two. Those who stand with the Empire and those who are against it. Leading the Imperial faction is House Gloucester, while House Regan leads those who oppose. We should take advantage of their internal conflict and proceed east along the mountains until we reach the Great Bridge of Murden in Alliance territory. The Aramid River divides Alliance and Empire territory. There are many large bridges that cross it. However, the Great Bridge of Murden is by far the largest, and it is also closest to the monastery. I believe you crossed that bridge five years ago on your journey to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. I'm afraid it's a possibility, but it's still more practical than passing through the West. Perhaps our next move should be to contact House Regan and request their cooperation. 
Claude of House Regan is the leader of the Alliance and is firmly against the Empire. They are the enemy of our enemy. In other words, hopefully, a friend. Are you suggesting that we ask House Regan to engage the Gloucester soldiers? I am. If we take the bridge, then House Gloucester will no longer be able to receive support from the Empire. There's no way a man as wise as Claude would refuse our request. And once we manage to capture the Great Bridge and gain a foothold into the Empire, then we cross Grander Field and head south toward Enbar. But if we get attacked from both sides, we'll have to fight people from the Alliance, won't we? Speaking of House Gloucester, I wonder how Lawrence is holding up. If we meet him again, it will probably be as enemies. To be honest, I'd rather avoid seeing him altogether. If you do not wish to kill familiar faces, do not tarry over the corpses of the dead. <laughs> Good advice. Prepare yourselves. It is time to steal your souls for the task at hand. Well, that is basically true that if you don't want to do familiar souls, then don't play this, basically don't play this game. I don't know. What do you want to say though? I don't even know. Part 2 Azure Moon. I don't really care that much about that. I just wanna I just wanna kick some butt. I just wanna kick some butt. Can I kick some butt? Even though it's in ruins, in some strange way, this monastery never truly changes, does it? I studied at the officer's academy when I was young. Those memories come rushing back whenever I return. What are you doing here at this hour anyway? <laughs> it's the same for me. Perhaps you'll allow me to join you. Much appreciated. I keep recalling my eldest son. He was quite gifted. In fact, he was appointed a knight at the age of 15. I still vividly remember the day he was granted a sword from his majesty. Dead. He was killed nine years ago in Dusker. All that returned of him that day were his sword and his armor. After it happened, I said something horrible to Felix. He's hated me ever since, and I don't blame him. No matter how much you grieve, the dead will never return. No magic in the world can bring them back. That's why their memory clings to the living like a curse. The more they were loved, the tighter their hold the more suffering they cause. I fear I am not a strong enough man to scold His Highness for his foolishness. Since this war began, we've seen countless generals, soldiers, and citizens die. It never gets easier. <sighs> Professor, I entrust the young prince and the future of Fargus to you. <laughs> you are a brave one, aren't you? One worthy of leading the Church of Saros, I dare say. You should know that I have no intention of insisting that you take back Ferdiat. All I ask is that you continue to rein in Dimitri's manic desire for revenge. Now then. We have received House Regan's consent. All that's left is for us to depart. If we make it through Gloucester territory and across the Great Bridge of Murden, we'll be in Empire territory. You are not afraid, are you?
<laughs> no need to worry. Don't you underestimate the power of my soldiers. I'm glad you were the one to lead the Blue Lion House, Professor. I mean that. Yeah, well, I chose this second, so... Can't be too bad. Listen to the others and harmonize. Work together. The same in music as on the battlefield. I've never sung a song before, so I don't know if I'm good or bad at it. Gilbert wants to speak to me now, my god. I'm sorry to make you tag along with my shopping trip like this. You are very kind to offer your help, even though this is my duty. I will someday repay you for this kindness. Though I fear there may not be so many things I can help you with. I would be glad to. However, I would likely learn more from you than you would from me. You made a living as a mercenary under Captain Gerald's guidance. As a comparatively new member of the Knights of Seros, I was not so familiar with his past exploits. Yet, clashing swords with him, even just a handful of times, was enough for his abilities to astound me. You, as one trained by him, must have those same great talents. I have devoted my life to the path of a knight, yet I find your mercenary experience lends your blade... <laughs> Wait up! Catch me if you can! Come on, this way! This way! Even in dark times such as these, children can find joy in life. Was I... smiling? Please, forget you saw that. I do not have the right to such pleasures. Indeed, for those we have lost will never be able to smile again. I am sorry. I did not mean to trouble you with such talk. Come, let us head back. Oh, that's nice. What? Wait, what? This will do. Cool. Okay. I don't I don't remember if they told us this or not, but how the heck did you lose his eye? I'm I I know that I might have said something about this in, in the past or I might have not, but how did he lose his eye? I don't know. That is crazy but Guys, I have to go talk, talk to my girlfriend now because it's way past overdue, guys. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to involve you in this, guys, but... I, sometimes, she's just too much for me and... Yeah, so p put your thoughts in the comment section down below about my relationship with my girlfriend. I know you don't know much about it, but... Put your thoughts in the comments section down below, and yeah. So thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye, guys.